Hi, hello. This is Anub here. And in this video, what we are going to see is how to convert WQL queries to SQL queries, right? I don't think it's very easy task if you go through and go through the views and tables in SQL and compare it with WMI classes. It is going to be a tedious task, right? So I'm going to give you a SCM tip to to do that in an easy way okay so to do that to convert wql queries to sql what you need to do is you need to be ready with a collection dynamic collection wql query that you want to convert into sql right so i started creating a collection from the console Okay, and I'm going to add a dynamic query rule over here. I'm going to give a name test, right? And click on edit and show query. And going to paste a query which I already have WQL query to find out co managed devices in my lab environment. So I click OK, and I just wanted to keep a batch of SMS provider log. Okay, it's nothing interesting till now. Okay, so click next. Click next is going to give me something like this, right? So again. I don't think that is related to this because it is it related to the conversion process because it's searching for message IDs. Okay, that is not relevant for us at least. Okay, so let's continue. We have completed the creation of dynamic collection. Uh, so this is only for the testing purpose. I have created dynamic collection. If you want to convert uh, any other WQL query, probably you can add another query rule in the collection and complete that. Probably that will give you the details. Now let's let's try to search with this particular keyword. Uh, if if you are asking. If you are going to ask me where did I find this keyword, this is one of the condition which I used in the query, right? So, for example, this is my WQL query, and this is one of the condition, right, which I used in the query. Okay, so that is why I'm using this filter over here and searching in this. And you can see straight away <laughs> the SQL query is available here for for that WQL query. So this is the WQL query, if I'm not wrong, right? And you can see the SQL query for that over here. So just copy the SQL query. And I will try to open. SQL Management Studio to test it. Okay, while it it is getting opened, we can just quickly go through another two lines of the SMS provider log, SMS prov dot log, and those are reference SQL table. It's referring to a view, v SMS underscore r underscore system right and the other sql table it is referring is v underscore client co-management state right so these informations are very useful right because we are converting wql queries to SQL and in WQL query, as you can see over here, it is using, okay, it's already here. So this is one of the classes in WMI it is looking for. And the other one is somewhere here, right? This is the other one, I think, right? Yeah, co-managed it. 
you can connect you can use wql query in webm test if you want right if you if you want to test this through the wma classes you can use the webm test and you can see you can connect to a sms or site server namespace right mems my site code now let me run this query over there and i can see two instances right two of combination devices over here now what what i'm going to do is i i got the sql query over here now i'm going to copy the sql query right Res, respective or corresponding sql query for the wql query which we used in the collection and i'm going to test this in sql management studio over here make sure you change the database name to your configuration manager database right and try to select the query which you want to run okay and execute it okay cool that that is also giving me the same results right the resource id number if you can look at it 221 and 222 Right. This is the same thing, same instances you got over here in WMI. Right. So this is one of the method or the only method I know uh, that is very easy. But I don't know about the supportability of this method, whether Microsoft is going to support this or not. Uh, that's up to you. So my recommendation is to test this in the lab environment and this video is only for the educational purpose right i think that's it for this video thank you all for watching hope this was helpful see you next time bye bye <laughs>